gonna um, go to talk about the new channel naming options. Um, the uh, this is very interesting because um, let me let me go back to Maya and show you what we have and what we used to have. Um, I'm gonna um, ba -ba -bum, gonna open the UI here and I'm gonna create an arm, just something basic. And on um, my ba -ba -bum, okay, top note, I'm just gonna open the settings. So we have uh, here these use classic names. All channels will have unique names. This is the default one. This is how uh, MGear has been working since version one. So I'm just gonna close this and show you what, what's going on here. So I'm just gonna build this. So just build one arm. And now, if we check here the channel box, we have this uh, FKIK blend, roll, armpit roll, and so on. But if we, if this is the, the um, nice name, I think it's called. So if we change and we check the, um, the script editor for what is triggering here, we see that it's not called I FKIK blend. Indeed, it's called armc0, that is center one, uh, zero, blend. So what means it? This is a full name, unique for each component. So if I have another, let me let me delete this and okay, just make it bigger this thing. And let me, oops, let me change my background to yeah this light one and hide this so we can see better. Okay, so um. File, let's say this is the left side. Oh, no shortcuts. Yeah, you got me. So let's say this is the left side. I'm just gonna just gonna pose there and put some positions there. And now I'm gonna duplicate symmetry. So I have my right side. And um, I'm just gonna build this thing. So this is uh, we have two arms. But you can see here. Um, now in the uh, global control where is uh, the default channels set you will see we have blend one and blend one uh, sorry ikfk and each of these has a, a different uh, name like r and left so okay let me repurpose this better so choo -choo -choo. Just gonna create here another control, and this is gonna be called uh, mm, I don't know channel host. So this is where I'm gonna store my my channels. So I'm just taking this settings like this, set as a host. So now I'm duplicating symmetry, so I have my new host there. And now each um, each arm is gonna have the uh, controls in each host. So I have one here for an arm left, and I have one there for arm right. So normally Maya, you expect that when you select both, like the, the both hosts and have the same name, you expect to IKFK and change both at the same time. But as you can see here, okay, let me adjust also the join size this is what happened when you start from a fresh install of Maya okay so you can see this one is changed to FK because it was the last to select but this one didn't change to FK and still an IK and why is there and that's because it's using a full unique name so that's pretty um, I will not say bad but maybe unique and many animators don't, doesn't like it. I don't blame there. I, I, I mean, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's not ideal, so we change it. So now if we uncheck this, by the way, the, the, f the new uh, biped guide has this unchecked by default. So basically what it's gonna do, it's gonna use uh, a new, um, and system and if you hover the, your mouse there you're gonna have a little explanation 
and basically um, it's gonna use uh, same name for um, each arm channel so this allows you to um, create uh, or to switch both at the same time when you select so let's do it it's better one image than a thousand words so again it looks like didn't change that much but I want to point you something here do you remember before here was arm left something and now it's arm it's just only using the name of the component not the u the name of the the uh, I mean the name of the component here not the, the the unique name of each copy of the component or each instance so now if I select both at the same time because they have the same name you can switch both at the same time so that's more like classic Maya way to do the things or rigging way to do the things on Maya so you can see this is the channel host R and left and both have same name on the channel but probably some people will ask hey and what happened when we share the host ah oh, come on what's going on there well basically you have the same channel with the same name they're gonna share the channel so you need to uh, design your connect. I mean, your structure, your connections, in the way that you can uh, control how it's going this this channel. So again, I'm just gonna delete this. I'm just gonna delete one. And here on my settings, I'm just gonna say that both arms, even if if one is right and the other is left, it's gonna point to this host here so now because I have this new um, I mean uncheck the classic system and both are on the same host when I build I'm gonna have only one channel for each one so basically this single channel is gonna switch both at the same time so this is how it's designed and I had a few quite a few talks with some colleagues and animators and um, basically we decided that if you don't want to share the the channel just don't put it on the same host if you want to share channels that it's also wanted sometimes um, you share the host so every 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 single uh, unique uh, component will will share the same host uh, the same channel so that's that's how it works here on the um and it using uh, channels and then we have this one uh, that it's at internal proxy channels and this is something that's new on uh, again Maya 2016.5 and all uh, newer versions so basically you, you can have proxy proxy channels where I did these proxy channels were um, at this point um, to be honest, it's only implemented in in the arms, I think. Yeah. So I need uh, to update the uh, controls to have more host, uh, I mean, m more proxy channels. But um, the good thing is uh, you can create it by yourself with the new uh, channel wrangle. So it's not needed to go to the code and set these things. But still, there is an option if you create your own component. So basically, now I activated this uh, proxy thing and um, now when I build you're gonna see that my my FKIK channel it's in several places so we have the proxy all around the place so these have the same proxy there and so on so this is something that you can take uh, advantage of it uh, if you want it or if you prefer to stay with the classic way to do the things go ahead and use the, the classic way um, again this is only on this component implemented I mean the, the functionality is implemented on, on general shifter for all the components that just adds a few lines of code on each one to define okay I want this proxy and this 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 control it's very basic but I, di I didn't take, take the time to do it because we have this new tool called um, channel wrangle that I'm gonna go through in, uh, in another video that you can do that
after and keep your configuration and save it on a JSON file so it's not needed to go to the code but yeah there is an option there so it's up to you how to choose this okay I think this video is uh, getting a bit long so thank you for listening and see you in the next one bye bye